Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock, and welcome along to the Russian Grand Prix. A uh, quick overview of the championship standings. We are currently sat in P10 with five points. Three points clear of Raymond Grosjean, who is on a solitary point. And um, yeah, we're in pretty good standing with the team. But without further ado, let's get into practice. So time for P1, and it was our very first wet session in F1 2017. And as you can see, we'll have to have to blind it. I don't know what happened. I literally was feather-touching the throttle pedal and it just um, span into the barrier. So, um, yeah, not really sure what was going on there. I just don't know. I, I was being so gentle with the power. Anyway, we got some more inters on, and we tried again. As you can see, same corner, but we managed to hold it this time, not into a barrier. But I am putting so little pressure onto the throttle with the, this, um, this set of tyres, and it's just spinning all over the place. I cannot get this car to, to move at all. I have since um, been on a, a practice with some full wets and got on all right. So I don't know, maybe it's just something different with the intermediate tires. But yeah, trying here just to uh, like get going in, in P1 and it's just not happening at all. We're just wrestling with the car, um, crawling around with hardly anything on the throttle at all. But finally we get some uh, traction, a little bit of traction as we come into the final corner, but I'm quite conscious that we're just going to slide off, which we do. And um, fortunately, we get a massive, massive oversteer moment straight into the barrier. And um, unfortunately, that is terminal damage. So, um, yeah, we did absolutely nothing in P1 thanks to the um, horrid, horrid wet intermediate tyre conditions. Anyway, let's hope that um, we can improve and um, P2 has a bit of uh, better fortune for us. So moving on to P2 and we went on to the track acclimatization test and um, yeah we did a pretty good job. I was quite wary of Russia because um, it's a new track not driven here but yeah no we got um, 500 uh, on the track acclimatization. It's our best score so pretty happy with that. Tire wear as with all the tracks so far I've raced around this season we are really good on our tire wear. So um, yeah, we was in the purple, so we managed to get a perfect score on the tire wear test, which is um, really, really good in my opinion. And um, the fuel, uh, fuel saving was a bit of a different um, story, unfortunately. Um, this corner was the the bane, the vein, vein, vein of my life the entire weekend. As you can see, we um, took massively too much speed in there. Um, totally misjudged the breaking point and straight into the barrier, losing our front nose, and that was the, actually the end of P2. So um, yeah, we didn't get to improve, but in P3 we went back out again, nice and early. As you can see, though, we're running a little bit deep. Um, at the moment, though, we are in the purple. Um, as long as long as well as um, fuel saving uh, and tire wear, they've both been like pretty good tests. I can nail pretty good. So yeah, coming around the final corner, managed to keep it um, plus 1.1 over the delta. So um, yeah. A perfect score for that as well. Next up was the race pace and um, once again we just pulled three green laps uh, in a row. This track really, I'm starting to feel the groove in this track so another um, perfect uh, test and then we went on to the qualifying pace. Well, guess what happened? That's right, we're in the barrier once more at our favourite corner. Um, yeah, just really, really struggling with that corner. If you go in there too deep or too fast, take too much speed. You see, I got a little lock up on the front right, and then I just literally careered straight into the barrier, which um, brought a end to that run. Unfortunately, staying out of the way of the Ferrari quite nicely. But uh, yeah, all in all, not too bad. We finished uh, practice three in seventh place ahead of our teammate Roman Grosjean. So um, yeah, happy days. Moving on to Quali, and this is uh, Q1 looking a bit overcast, but it's still dry. And um, yeah, this is our sort of first flying lap. Um, we was improving, and then Verstappen just totally went too slow, and I had to go really, really deep um, to avoid hitting him there. He just sort of parked himself on the racing line, which I was not happy about at all. But um, we went deep, but um, luckily we'd already got a time in. So this is Q2, guys, and um, we only did one run in Q2, which was pretty competitive. And we managed to set a 140.252 to put us in a provisional second. We didn't finish second in Q2, but it was enough to get us through to Q3, which is here. And um, we started off Q3 in fantastic fashion. We <laughs> got the guys in the garage to do even more work for us. Good job we have got an limited supply of front wings. Uh, we went too deep, loved the bad tyres. And um, yeah, 
took it into the barrier, but um, had the work done. Went straight back out with only um, about a minute left to go by the time we crossed the line. And this is the end of our first run in Q3. Um, trying to keep it nice and tidy on the exits. And um, yeah, we're, we're plumb last at the minute because we haven't set a time. But as we come through the final corner round the apex, we're now in the apex, but what's the time going to be? It's going to be a 142.23, which puts us in a provisional fifth place. And um, we're just going to carry on this time because we've got enough time. We've got enough fuel in the car to carry on and try and improve. And um, hopefully we can um, get an even better position on the board. However... I know for a fact that's not going to happen, as you will see in a moment. But I was really, I was really feeling confident around Russia. Russia was giving me a lot of confidence. I thought I was going to struggle with it being a track I'd never driven around before. But no, I was doing really, really well. I felt um, my setup was good, and um, let's see, we even went purple in the first sector. So yeah, we've uh, found some tremendous pace around here, indeed. But yeah, here is the the disastrous moment. We. Um, too late on the brakes, go out wide, and then as we, um, on the curve, light up the back tyres, throws into the barrier, and yeah, that is um, session over for us. Unfortunately, we have to take a motorbike ride back to the pits, but um, yeah, luckily, the first lap got us a nice position on the board, and we actually qualified in fifth. We stayed in fifth, so um, yeah, career best qualifying. So before we head into the race, I am actually increasing the difficulty. I was umming and ahhing whether or not to do this um, in Spain. If I was going to do it in Spain, definitely. But um, I thought since I'd done so well in qualifying, um, I would up the difficulty now to 70. Uh, it's still classed as hard, but um, yeah, we'll see how we fare at 70 difficulty. So looking at the starting grid, Lewis Hamilton will start from pole with teammate Valtteri Bossas on second place. So it's an all Ferrari second row with Sebastian Vettel in front of Kimi Raikkonen. We start fifth with Daniel Ricciardo alongside in sixth. Max Verstappen starts second, Sergio Perez in eighth, Felipe Massa ninth, Esteban Ocon tenth, Roman Grosjean my teammate eleventh, Nico Hulber twelfth. Lance Stroll 13th, Carlos Sainz 14th, Daniel Kvyat 15th, Jolien Palmer 16th, Fernando Alonso and Stoffel Van Dorm on row 9 in all McLaren row 9, with Pascal Wallin and Marcus Harrison bringing up the rear. So as we come round the um, last couple of corners on the formation lap, getting ready to take our grid spot, the race is about to begin as we follow Sebastian Vettel. One light, two light, three lights, four lights, five lights... And away we go. We are off for the Russian Grand Prix. A little bit bogged down, but we seem to be catching on Vettel. Pretty good start, I think. We're keeping with the leaders. And we're alongside Raikkonen here. Try not to back him into the wall. As we head down to turn two, we have got Ricardo right and Verstappen right alongside us. But if we get pinched, and we actually have double contact here with Vettel, causing him to spin slightly. But, um, yeah, unfortunately, we have lost a few places. We try and go up the inside of Perez to take back second place, but we've gone extremely wide here, trying to keep up with Vettel as we head into the corner. Stabilise the braking, and on we go. So, um, yeah, lost a couple of places, not a great start with the increased difficulty, or if I just had a, a totally bad start, but, um, yeah, we're going to keep in Vettel's slipstream here and see how we fare. lap two and we went extremely deep at turn two which allowed Sergio Perez, sorry Max Verstappen to come all the way around the outside of us. Luckily we managed to um, stay up with him and dive down the inside in the next corner to take seventh place back. But he has actually got Sergio Perez all over the back of him as you'll see in the bottom there on the TV view in a moment. Um, they're having a right little scrap and Perez actually gets ahead momentarily but Max is trying to hold the outside line and does manage to into the next corner but Perez does then counter back Perez is right on us then as we go down the back straight pulling up alongside of me and um, I just have no answer to the, the McLaren power try and um, think about going down the inside try and pick my breaking point out, but no we've overcooked it and we've actually hit Perez and um, we have got now slight front wing damage so not a great second lap at all 
Lap three, we've got Max Verstappen trying to d defend on the outside, but Max is insistent that he wants to go in between me and the wall here. So, um, yeah, we're tr all over the place, lost our sort of grip a little bit, massively wide in here, into the barrier, and unfortunately, we are going to have to pit now, guys, because we have um, severe front wing damage, which, um, yeah, it's not good at all. It's barely avoiding contact there with Roman Grosjean, our teammate. So, um, yeah, we're actually going to pit very early. But um, one thing I did try and practice here was entering into the pits, and I absolutely failed. Look at this. This is terrible. I might over and totally miss it, dive back in. I know I'm quitting the corners, and I shouldn't really do that. And um, just barely managed to get into the pits. So, um, yeah, this is actually going to put us right at the back of the field, unfortunately. So, um, four laps into the race, not a very good start at all. We need a brand new front wing already in the pits. Um, so, hopefully, with a bit of clean now, we can actually just get our head down and focus. Luckily, Fernando Alonso was a long, long way back, so we didn't actually... Um, end up right at the back of the field but um, hey 19th place is still bad enough pit strategy complete see these tyres through to the end now lap six and we've caught up to the back of Marcus Ericsson whose um, tyres are probably getting a little bit worse for wear by this point. We're on brand new super softs at this point but um, yeah we're just going to take him and dive up down the inside to take a place into 18th position. So um, yeah the charge has started guys. We are going to try and make as many places back as we can. Currently P18 on lap six almost half race distance and um, Hopefully some of the guys in front of me will start to pit and we'll start to catch up some of those guys we were racing and around before. I think actually here we're uh, going to take Van Dorn who is exiting the pit so we are now up to P16 on lap 7. So, um, lap seven, later on in the lap, Lewis Hamilton actually had an engine blow, as you can see. So, um, unfortunately, Lewis had to pull over to the side, out of the race, but um, all good for us. We're up to now P15. And then we caught on to the back of the Grosjean, Hulkenberg, Palmer train. There's four of us going down the back straight here. Um, everybody apart from Grosjean has got DRS, so it's really hard to actually try and... Um, any sort. I was thinking about lunge down the inside, thought better of it, and instead lunge down the inside of the next corner to take Palmer quite nicely, and then out the exit of the following corner, our teammate, we had better traction than our teammate, and we was able to dive down the inside and take another place. Although we went rather deep, we managed to hold the position, and we're now up to P13 ahead of our teammate. Unfortunately, he lost a place to Palmer as well in that little scrap between us, but um, yeah, we, we kept with Hulkenberg. Going into lap 12, two laps to go. We've saved enough fuel so we can have a nice little pop. We're going to have DRS down here as we exit turn one. We are all over the back of Hulkenberg. Gaining, gaining, gaining with DRS. And um, late break down the inside into turn two. Thank you very much. We've gained another place. That is now 12th position. The final lap here guys and unfortunately we have another retirement Lance Stroll not really sure as you can see from the TV what actually happened with him uh, but he just pulled over to the side and that was the end so um, yeah we're going to actually take P11 here so um, we're not going to catch Carlos Sainz in front he is 7 seconds in front of us so um, we're just going to have to settle now for 11th place which is quite unfortunate because we um, started 5th we was in a really strong position had a really bad start lost the wing had the pit and um, it, it costs us in the end. Um, but, you know, you win some, you lose some, you have good days, you have bad days. This, unfortunately, was a bad day for me and the team. But um, hopefully we can build on it and um, we can bounce back in Spain with uh, an even better result. Well, I hope we can do better than that at the next race. Not our best day by any means. Looking at the drive stands, we've lost a couple of places thanks to the Forced Indias. They both had good results and they have gained up, uh, moved up to 8th and 9th respectively. 
Um, so we are currently sat in 12, still with five points in the championship. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like, comment, subscribe down below. Hope you like the new editing style uh, as well. Please give me some feedback on that. I'll be back real soon with the Spanish Grand Prix. But until next time, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.